Greetings, fellow noobs, and welcome to another noob cast. This is Blomus bringing you this 1v1 in the Zelnaga Caverns, where we have Rar, Rar, spawning as the red Protoss in the bottom left corner, Rar, and Huffman. Huffman, ne'er two diametrically opposed names have ever clashed here in StarCraft II. Rawr versus Huffman. Rawr. Huffman. Anywho, after some intense ZVZ, we are back into some good old noobishly newbie PVT here in the Zelnaga Caverns. Uh, I have no idea what is going to happen in this game. I watched it yesterday, and it's in my yes folder, but I've already forgotten. So, uh, we will treat it like it's good, baby. And we are rocking and rolling. Making some SCVs. The, though, pulling some noobishly noobs noobish activity floating lots of minerals right off the bat is Huffman not making any SCVs uh, hey look at it check it out roar floating some minerals as well not making any probes just hanging out hoping that this gateway will finish at some point <laughs> but neither guy getting gas yet neither guy getting uh, more tech buildings though I uh, must say Huffman is doing uh, perhaps a slightly better job only slightly better job of get, of making uh, SCVs versus probes but he is dropping some buildings now got a second gateway and another pylon down for roar I wish I could actually roar like because if I could roar like rawr, rawr, that sounds kind of crappy but if I could do a good roar every time I said Rar's name, I would roar. It would be, and Rar comes up the side with some zealots. First zealot is out for Rar. He's gonna go down here and check out his uh, area down here. Make sure. Oh, he's gonna find the offending SEV and end his oh, his short existence. Let's see, Huffman getting the gas, Orbital Command is up still, oh nope, he does have a couple, he has one more SCV than the last time I checked. Boy Huffman, you are doing it and doing it well. <laughs> more Zealots out for RAR, getting a third gateway, no cyber core as of yet, looks like we might be looking at some uh, Zealot Russian because, hey, Protoss guys, not sure if you know. But unless you have a cyber core, the only units you can make are zealots. <gasps> yes, it's true. It's true. And same goes for Terran. Unless you have a tech lab, you can only make marines. But you know what? Marines, if you have more marines than there are zealots, you can kite the pants off those zealots. Oh, we've got... This is one of the cool things about the latest patch. You can actually click on the uh, refinery and see how many harvesters are in there. And there are four, one more than is actually necessary. So a little inefficiency going on there. Um, if it sounds like I'm being particularly critical, uh, it's because I just got out of my own coaching session. Uh, a One of the guys who watches Noobcast um, He's in Masters League. Why he still watches Noobcast, I have no idea. But hey, I'll take it. Um, and he offered to give me some uh, some pointers. So I actually had my first coaching session tonight, uh, which I am very appreciative of. Cybercore and Forge going down for rawr, second gas. Just finished as well. Not a whole lot on saturation here, though. He does have seven zealots waiting outside of this walled-in base. They are not going to get very far if they try and go up that ramp. We know that for a fact. Forge finished. Concussive shell out for Huffman. No, he's making his first Marauder. And we do have a second reactor going down. So it's going to be double reactor and one uh, barracks with, with a tech lab making Marauders, getting the upgrades. 
I'm assuming we're gonna see Stim come out next because hey, what would Terran be without Stim? <laughs> balanced. Yes, that's right. I said it, ladies and gentlemen. Balanced. <laughs> uh, I I jest. I jest. Uh, at least my tongue is at least halfway inserted into my cheek. Um, fact of the matter is, uh, I think without Stim, Taryn would probably immediately go into the underpowered category. Um, but man, Stim is freaking strong. So, but that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, I am working on my PVT. That's what we worked on in my coaching session. Very cool, very cool guy. Uh, handle is Drizzle. He is a 2700 level masters. Um, you know, so it's, uh, he's he is graciously not charging me. I offered to throw him a few bucks, but he was like, nah. And that's cool. I definitely appreciate that good for uh, Brotoss to help out fellow Brotoss I appreciate it and uh, I will update you if my play improves I haven't played since the coaching session I felt and and I think I knew this about myself before we even started doing coaching Warpgate Tech finally finishing Stim getting started for Huffman as we see a couple of Stargates coming out for RAR who still has only nine, <laughs> nine probes mining. Okay, maybe ten. I think I missed one. Um, not the best shape to be in here. Um, mules out for Huffman and definitely much more saturated. I don't even want to look at the income. Only two more harvesters, but look at the difference. 200 plus per minute in minerals. It's going to be big. That's four... Marines an hour a minute. Sorry, an hour. Corona boosting out some uh, void rays. No engagements thus far. Which uh, normally, if I watch a replay and there's no engagements, I don't cast it. If there's not engagements up to ten minutes, so um, something fun must happen in this replay because we're still watching it. Uh, in any case. Um, I found, as I just want to finish my thought there before we actually see some action here, which it looks like we are going to, um, having someone over me telling me what I need to do is about the best possible thing probably that could happen in in StarCraft for me. Um, actually having someone say, do this, do that, you missed that, you missed that, that's good. Um, and maybe if I have that happen in enough games it'll get drilled into my thick skull uh, the things that I'm missing um, I'd say we played three games and by the third game I did feel like uh, I was doing better so hopefully we'll see some improvement in my in my play as we look at the void rays um, just kind of not doing much of anything gonna wait for the engagement down here and here it comes Huffman coming up stairs just, just wants to pick off that pylon. Very good play. Um, force fields are out, but zealots are going to get smote uh, anyway. Now, if you're going to drop force fields, it's best not to try and engage Roar. If you're going to do force fields, you want to get yourself out of there. We have another void ray out, two void rays over here. Um, going to do some damage, I guess, charging up on the gas. And. Here comes Huffman, looking to take down some more stuff. Um, Roar, not really paying attention. See, Roar, this is not good, not good, Roar. If you're going to force field, you got to back off so they can't, get, they, so you're not in range. And now you're down to a couple of guys, and um, I have a base race going on up here, but with some Marines. Uh, Roar is going to be able to take these units down. Taking out, we got a couple more void rays coming out. Uh, still using force field to good good enough effect down here, but letting up too many units. Huffman is now being revealed. It just seems like Huffman should be able to roll Roar, but he now has several void rays out on the field doing all kinds of damage up here. Uh, just goes to show that if you wait too long, if you let your opponent uh, 
get ahead, you could be in. If you, if you let your opponent, even if they're worse than you, uh, just have free reign, then you could be in trouble. But um, it looks like Huffman should win the base race here if um, if things stay as they are. These Marines not engaging. See, with the number of Marines, what I would do, I would send the Marines back to your home base to, uh, to clean things up. See, because now Roar's going to be able, he's got lots of money, he's going to be able to go out and drop pylons anywhere he wants. He's not paying attention. Oh, did he lose it? He did, he did. He did not get away. But he, And he has a zealot out here. It's not a probe. So there is no more probes in the field. Uh, lots of SCVs, but uh, Huffman has no money and he cannot make anything else. So it's basically down to these three buildings and a uh, bad call by Huffman for running away very bad call not sure why he did it because that is game ladies and gentlemen wow that maybe he didn't know maybe he didn't know i don't know but this was noobalicious kids noobalicious thanks for the submit tour which i assume was raw because he won and um if i were huffman uh, I would actually give him more kudos for submitting this replay because it was pretty bad. He probably could have won if he had just stayed up there and taken out these three buildings um, because there were no more probes, etc., etc. But he didn't, and so four Void Rays win the day. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, gotta love the noobs. I am one, so I do. <laughs> Keep climbing that ladder, guys. See ya. My voice is going. Sleepy time.